Android smartphones might be powerful, but they still aren't immune to the natural wear and tear of regular use. We're going to show you how to keep using your Android phone should this happen to you. Hey guys, it's Joel here from Make Tech Easier. If you're like me, a lot of you may have phones that are well past their use-by date. You might be able to deal with the volume controls not working, but a power button is a bigger issue. Here's how you can turn on your Android phone if the power button stops working. This method isn't likely to work for all phones, but it's a fairly simple solution and one you should consider trying first. If your Android phone is still on and has enough battery remaining, plugging it in should light your phone screen. This will allow you to handle the touch screen and perform some of the actions we're going to mention to bypass your power button on a more permanent basis. If it isn't on or the battery has depleted, connect your Android smartphone to your phone charger or to a PC using a USB cable. In some cases, this will force your device to switch on automatically, but not all the time. Thanks to third-party home launchers, you can add extra features to your Android device to control your device screen. This method will require your phone to be switched on to work, but once it's on, you can bypass your power button, although in many cases, it will only allow you to turn your screen off rather than on. EV Launcher, for instance, will let you lock your screen by setting custom gestures like double tapping or swiping the screen up or down. To do this, access your EV Launcher settings and go to Gestures, select your gesture method and choose screen lock. From here, select your screen lock method. You can choose instant lock, where your screen will immediately lock, or timer lock, which will delay locking by a few seconds. If required, click activate to confirm your choice. The Android Debug Bridge, or ADB, is a tool that lets you perform actions on your Android device from your PC. You can use it to allow you to switch your phone on if you can't use your power button. Once you've set up ADB on your PC, including enabling USB debugging on your phone, you'll be able to send commands to your phone to do this. Assuming your phone is off, connect it to your PC and immediately perform the actions to boot into your device's fast boot mode by holding down your volume button until the phone's boot up splash screen appears. Once that's done, open a command line or terminal and type ADB devices to check if your phone is detected. If it is, type fast boot continue to allow your phone to switch on as normal. Once that's done, you can disconnect your phone and use it normally. You can also use some more common ADB commands like ADB reboot to reboot your device. The power button doesn't always work, but you may be able to remap another physical button to wake the screen. The downside to this method is that it will only work if the phone is still on, so you'll have to ensure the battery is never fully depleted. Apps like Button Mapper will let you configure other physical buttons, like your volume controls. Open Button Mapper and follow the instructions in the app to give the app permissions it needs. Once that's done, you'll see a list of your physical buttons. Tap on the one you want, for example, volume buttons. And in the next menu, tap Customize. Under Single Tap, you can select Turn Screen Off to be able to switch your phone screen off at will. Under Long Press, select Power Dialog to access the power menu. Unfortunately, Button Mapper doesn't allow you to wake your screen, and it won't turn it on if your phone is already off. An app like Gravity Screen will let you perform gestures to wake your screen on or turn it off. Install the app and follow the instructions to provide the required permissions. Once it's installed, activating your screen can be performed by simply swiping on your touch screen. It's possible to turn your phone on without a working power button. Apps like Gravity Screen or Button Mapper will let you wake your screen or switch it off. Your phone does need to be turned on to use them, however. If your phone is turned off, using ADB is the best method to get your phone switched back on. You can use it alongside the apps we mentioned as long as your phone stays switched on. Did you find this video helpful? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Well, that's it from me. If you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech-savvy videos. See you next time.